Yo, what's up? I'm um I'm back with another insight blog presented by Fourth Dimension. Y'all know what that is by now. If you don't, fuck you. Anyway, regarding um I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I'll be reading a lot of books. I'll be forgetting most of these, uh, most of these damn stories. They're really making, making me, um, basically feel like I'm wasting my damn time reading the book in the first place. Because I forget the story. Every, especially when I was smoking weed, but I quit though, so I still can't remember these damn things. Anyway, the title is is Gold Diggers by um Tracy Howard. Like the last last story that I had was actually by uh by by um by Tracy Howard. So um uh the main character really is like a, it's a group of, it's a group of girls basically gold diggers. And you know what? This is a good. This is a good story because I just read about some. Uh, I just read about some up in. Um, I think it was like the People's Magazine or something like that with um, uh, Kanye West and uh, Kim Kardashian. Uh, she, I think she, 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 she trying to get him out for that, all his money. She trying to get him out all his money anyway. Well, some real nigga shit. This is about this is about four gl- four four girls, okay? Basically gold diggers and um well it, it, it's a, the story begins the group of girls in the club, Lauren, who is the youngest, and her cousin Paul pa- Liddy. I wanna I wanna say pa- I'm gonna just say Pauletta. If you read the story, you get the book or whatever. Just uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's, I think it's Pauletta. And the oldest, Reese. Now, Reese, she is straight. She is straight dog. Like, they, it, 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 said, it says that uh, Reese, who was uh, presumed, was... um winking at the doctor when she came out when she came out her mama's pussy now that's a bona fide I mean straight up but anyway she is actually an assistant co- um coordinator for Uptown Magazine and her, her roommate Gillian is also in the story as well but it starts off that Gillian was invited, um, Reese invited Gillian to to this party, and then it was given by a uh, magazine. Seeing this though, Reese is the Uptown Magazine coordinator. They invited her. She she um she um invited these these other three girls. Now now and this was in honor of Denzel Washington and the um. Hip New York nightclub at Nikki's Beach. I believe that is a yeah, that's a beach. Also a restaurant. Anyway, at this point of time, Reese was only dating this guy named Chris. Now Chris, he had, he had NBA. M- NBA basketball ball all star feel me so but they been they just been dating for three years now and two and she also she also was dating three uh two other dudes I tell you like I said Reese she was winking at the doctor when she when she was born so um and the rest the rest of all was on the prowl now at this nightclub. I came across this guy named Max. Max, um, Max 
name say for, it's short for uh Maximilian Newman. He's actually an attorney in uh uh Pauletta who was first to pursue him. She actually she she actually um got sideswiped by Reese. Reese seen that trying to get at him, then she got at him. But um Gillian, he want he want Philly and he want Mac Max want Philly now. Gillian Gillian Gillian, she actually she actually didn't give a fuck. And like Gillian, she was quiet. I mean she liked it to do, but she ain't wanna feel like she was thirsty and stuff. Because because there wasn't she, she, uh he wasn't her type. And Lauren, she was feeling him too. Man, he was her type. But she she kept quiet because she didn't want to feel like she was thirsty either. But anyway. So uh Max, okay, Max Max ended up going for Max Max ended up, you know, he had his his, his pick of the litter, so he, he uh he actually went for Lauren. Four years later, they got married and reached Mary Chris, the uh the all star the uh, NBA uh dude that she was uh that she was dating. Now this is how pa- uh Pauletta's jealousy for Lauren started. Remember I told you. Remember I told you because remember I told you that uh Pauletta was the first to pursue Max, but um he he went for Lauren, her cousin. So this is how this is how all this jealousy between Pauletta and um her cousin started, cause she, cause Max chose her over 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 um Pauletta. But anyway, Gillian Gillian was the act was an actress now, and she was finding it very hard to find a part. So she moved to L.A. to find work. She wanted to audition for a role in a movie, and, and the director told her to act black. Now. At this point in time, she snapped. She she snapped. She like fuck this. She came to her senses, and she uh she packed her bag. Uh, she 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 packed her bags right, and you know she, she um she moved back to New York. Now, <laughs> she she moved back to New York. Now at this point in time, in the process, she actually had um she actually had lost her Gucci bag at the at the baggage claim. She picked up the wrong bag, Brandon Russell's bag. Now this this is a rich man, who is um he actually ran a record. He runs a record label. Actually owns it, I think, called Sunset Records. Pauletta advised that uh advised uh Gillian that she uh go meet the dude and try to make a love connection. Now this at this point in time. Uh, this point in time, Gillian was like, "No, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to date dude or whatever like that." But you know, and she was on the prowl anyway, and she was single, so she was like, "Oh hell, what the hell?" She called him up, and they agreed to meet at the restaurant called Ivy, where they exchanged bags. Now, Ivy, I think, is actually a, uh, it's like a upscale, like a like a upscale restaurant, too. Like the old school restaurant, expensive, everything, you know. Okay, Reese, who was now Mrs. Nolan, who is, uh, was that, that, okay, she changed her name to, uh, Chris's last name, the NBA All Star I was telling you about. And then she had became very famous. At this point, she went to, she, she went to a party. By the New York Knicks. Now, you already knew she was playing on some. Knew she was playing on some. I just couldn't figure out what. But she was. She uh. She went to the party to celebrate them making it to the playoffs thanks to her husband. Her husband, uh, three point shots. He had. I guess he got a good, a good, a good, a good, uh, good, good, uh, free throw. He had good three pointers. A friend whom invited her. A friend whom she invited named Kira. And Kira ain't part of the, I don't think Kira, Kira ain't really part of the club. You know what I'm saying? Like that. This just some little chick. She a video vixen. 
she a video uh, a video vixen she be getting naked and, and you know on the videos and everything like that she's not really with the up, up, upscale you know bougie type that that reese always hanging out with you know she like a, a friend of me but she ain't really in the group you know but anyway with that being said uh She, uh, yeah, Reese introduced Kara to Chris, man. Uh, uh, at the same time, Chris' friend, who, whose name was Sean, right? <clears throat> he he didn't introduce he didn't introduce Reese, uh, 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 Sean to Reese, but he but he sick. He sicked her on uh he he sick he sick he sicked her on uh he sicked on on uh on Reese. He, yeah, he sicked on Reese, and uh at this point in time, at the same at the same time, Reese had sick. Reese sicked uh Kyra on um on, on Chris. So, so you know, there's some foul play going on here, as you can see. But uh, okay. Okay, when it all boils down to it all boils down to Reese, uh, uh, okay, it all boils down to Sean slipping slipping Reese's number without without uh Reese knowing that that was uh Chris homie. So you know, by her being the gold digger that she was, she decided to hook up with Sean. Now she didn't know that Sean was a uh, Chris homie at the at the same time. She had she had given Kyra Chris number, and she had paid Kyra to seduce Chris and to get it, and to get it on camera for a bigger uh a bigger divorce settlement uh the bigger divorce settlement and stuff like that. Um, but while her her and Sean was having sex at, uh for a season, the fire alarm went off and they had to evacuate the building. Now someone, I guess I guess that uh like a private investigator or something that Chris had hired. Had um was following I guess he was following he's following uh he's following Ky uh he's follow following his wife Reese around and um when the alarm went off in the building they, and they evacuated the building someone had saw them together outside the building and took a picture which looked I mean which leaked all over the media and made a big ass media headline it was big a big splash so you know everybody knew. Okay, so conf um, expecting the confession about him and Kyra, Chris called her. Chris, Chris called her, and um, she she was thinking she she was thinking uh, cause you know she, I know I told you she said she set him up with Kyra, and then Chris was like, oh damn, let me call her real fast. He called her and she was like, oh damn, he finna tell me about Kyra, but she didn't know, she did she she didn't know, you know what I'm saying. What he was gonna do, he came over and he and he told her to pack her shit. Like what? That was something I need to talk to you about. And then he showed her the picture that he that um he told he showed her the picture that uh he showed her the picture of uh, uh, uh the news that was on, on in front of the newspaper. Kyra, I mean um Reese Reese wasn't really reading the newspaper like that. So she didn't know that uh she had got caught up like that like that. It said uh it said it said uh. Basketball star wife, way out of bounds. <laughs> Funny shit. Anyway, uh, he actually he actually took custody of they of they uh of they child and made a, a a settlement agreement for a couple thousand after he divorced her ass. The lo the lawyer advised her to maintain. The visitation because it wasn't the the divorce wasn't final, so so um later when she found out through her child that Kyra wasn't returning her her uh, her that uh, that her Kyra wasn't returning her phone call because she had she had a uh, wife her husband so they was actually returning Kyra and Chris was actually in a full time relationship and uh what she, what what, uh, what Kyra was supposed to, what was supposed to do to Chris. Turned into a whole love thing, a love connection, a real, real love connection, and um, that's why uh, Reese, Reese mad at Kyra now. 
you know, so, but, I mean, like I told you before, they was funny me anyway, I don't even see why the hell would she even give up the girl, and if I done like that anyway, but anyway, let the story goes on, she called her and cursed her out, now at this time, remember I told you about the other, the other lit, the other chicks, at this time, Pauletta and uh, Lauren, Lauren's auntie, but this is Pauletta's mother that died and was a known and a really wealthy woman who had a will and who had a will and the will it says she had about five million plus with some properties. Pauletta and her cousin husband, Max, who was an attorney, had altered the will. See at this point in time, Pauletta was mad at uh, um like I told you she 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 jealous she jealous of her cousin Lauren. And, and, and about Max, uh, about Max choosing Lauren. So, what happens is she goes and um, seduces. She just seduces Max and Max, you know, and and they and they and they in a full relationship, you know. But the story gets better, okay? Max, who was an attorney, had also the wheel, so that Pauletta got all the properties, all, all the properties, and Lauren got some money. Lauren's mother, who was a uh, who 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 was the deceased sister? Only got only got the house which uh she which uh Pauletta's mother died in. Although Max was uh Lauren's wife, she had became a victim. Wait, he had, he yeah. Uh, although was Max was Lauren's wife, he had became a victim in his jealousy of Pauletta. Of Pauletta's, and. This you know this little victim this uh jealousy Paul Pauletta had on Lauren since they won Max chose Lauren over her so she was having sex with Max Max however only went along with her because of the promised benefits for uh the ultra wheel in which he would get a couple million Pauletta jealousy however got the best of her and she poked a hole in a condo one time before they were having sex before uh putting putting it on Max I don't know why the hell. He let her put that condom on him. He should be doing that himself anyway. But then she went to the bathroom and, and uh she went to the bathroom after they had sex and squeezed the rest of the um she squeezed the rest of the nut inside her. After getting pregnant, pregnant, Max wanted nothing to do with her. He like hell no, I ain't fucking with you, Jerry. Jerry Bill. and and was planning to tell Lauren who who uh who the baby daddy was. Now, Pauletta was going to tell Lauren who the baby daddy was. Max wasn't trying to hear. He, he wasn't going to tell her shit. And um, after Lauren threw uh, uh, Pauletta a, a baby shower one night at at, 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 uh, at Brandon's house. You know, I told you to do the record with the record uh, company and shit. So, so they, they was all there. All the, all, all, the, all the girl's friends was there. And her cousin threw her, like her, cousin threw her a baby shower. And then Gillian, the one who um who was who who couldn't find work, she drank too much liquor and ended up letting it slip out her mouth. And she said what she said she was mad at Lauren though at the same time though, cause cause uh she was jealous of her or something like that. She was jealous of her success doing stuff like that. So, you know, she couldn't find work and all that. Pauletta stormed out and a branded house in a blind rage, ran off the cliff. Of you know Hollywood, you know that Hollywood rock, you know so he posted he he got turns on that nigga, so the nigga off to the brakes on the on the car, and she ran up falling off the cliff. So that was bogus as hell. She rolled off the cliff, but Brandon, Brandon, this was this was all this was all because she had too much information on Brandon, criminal criminal activity. Turns out Paulita had discovered a um a flash drive in Brandon's suitcase. They that that day when Gillian had brought it home from the airport and he was looking for um the flash drive ever since. And um when he found out that Gillian left Paulita alone with the suitcase, he instantly knew who that she had to have it because pa Pauletta had contacted him anyway. Telling him if he wanted it back, she he had to pay some money. So he planned to kill her anyway. All the while, Reese was still planning to finalize the um 
So some of my other brothers before on Chris, so she had a private investigator one night, and the, and the um, private investigator got pictures of Chris getting a blowjob from a dude in the hotel room. And we said plan on using these pictures to get more money from the divorce, but the night her uh the night her and Pauletta had drove off in that car in the blind way and they went over the uh cliff, Pauletta had died, okay. She 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 was dead after that, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because she she um I don't know if she poisoned enough kill her mother and uh, alter alter her will like that, but you know, they say karma is real karma come back on you, but she broke the shell for um alter her mother's will like that and then i don't know if she killed her or not but she thinks she killed her but she was wounded very bad you know for like you know for the love of money you gold diggers you really do whatever you want but 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 you know when uh reese who was with her in that car she could she began to change her life you know what i'm saying and she met up with chris and showed him the pictures and ripped them up in his face like you know what only one for shit she don't want nothing i, I, I just want the custody of my son she didn't even want the settlement money or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Lauren, however, found another man at a uh, at a stripper party who turned out to be a art uh art uh dang. Articulture photographer. See, you never know. You can't judge no book by a cover. You know, the man was stripping in the stripper club because he lost his back to one of his homies and he had to do it. He was an architecture photographer, so he go around the world taking photos in countries and stuff like that. Um, they fell in love. Gillian, despite what she seen on the flash drive, and um, in the condition of Reese, because Reese was fucked up after that car crash. Reese, man, Reese was Reese was in the hospital bed, man. She was down in her face was all fucked up. She had scars all on her face. Man, she had broken legs, everything. But despite the condition of Reese and the death of her and, and, the, and, the, and the death of, of, of her friend Pauletta, and she knew because she seen what was on the disc. She she seen what was on the disc. She she still ended up marrying Brandon. And Brandon had killed. She still ended up marrying the man. And giving him back the, the uh his long lost disc. See, money money will make a a a woman marry the person who killed her best friend. Kill her mama, make her kill her mama, alter her mama will. And, and you know what? It's sad. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a whole lot of gold diggers out there. You know, and I just wish, I can just end this off like this. You know what I'm saying? I just wish Kanye the best of luck because. He should have known fucking with uh Kardashian, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just wishing the best of luck on this one though. But yeah, I'm gonna be back again. I'm gonna be back again with another video of them video blog because on this insight on another insight blog probably next week because I don't uh Yeah, I'm not I'm not pretty I'm not pretty sure which one I wanna do. I got a whole bunch of them, a couple of them available right now, but I'll be back next week with another video blog. So, you know. Stay in tune.